With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Today we will solve the question from the fraction. The question is, the following fraction represent just three different numbers. Separate them into three different groups of equivalent fraction by changing each one to its simplest form. So, in this question, we have to simplify the fraction. Okay, very easy question. Let's see how to solve this question. Okay, so first our equation is 2 by 12. So, <clears throat> So, first question, 2 by 12, so we divide 2 by 12, we divide by 2 from numerator and denominator, then we will get 1 upon 6, okay, very simple problem, now move, let's move towards another, our next equation, okay next equation is 3 upon 15 okay so if we see that 3 upon 50 what is the the smallest number divided by 3 and 15 it's obviously 3 3 is, will be the smallest number which will divide 3 and 15 so we will divide by 3 both side okay numerator as well as denominator then we will get 1 by 5 okay very easy question now let's move on a sec another point c point the fraction is 80 upon 8 upon 50 so what will be the smallest factor so uh, 8 also come in 2 and 50 also come in 2 so we will start with 2 8 divided by 2 on numerator and 50 divided by to in denominator so we will get uh, at the table 2 times 4 we will get 8 so 2 4 2 4 the 8 so we will writing 4 here on the numerator side and on 25 times the half of 50 is 25 okay can it be or more divide divisible no because in any table there is no 4 and 25 comes okay that's why it can't be divisible further so next part let's move on the d part d part is 16 upon 10 so let's upon again divide 16 upon 10 the lowest is will be 2 so we will divide by 2 on numerator as well as denominator so after dividing 16 it will become 8 and dividing 10 by 2 it will be 5 and further it can't be divided because in no any table there's 8 and 5 didn't come in same table okay that's why it can't be divided further now on e part a part is 10 upon 60 okay so let's divide this First of all, we divide. Divide. How much? What do you think? Ten must come in. What? Uh, ten. At what table? Ten and sixty will come. Obviously, in the table of ten, the ten also comes and sixty also comes. So, in simple, we can divide by ten. So, dividing by ten, we get one, and in that ten time, six times ten, we get sixty. So the answer will become 1 by 6. Now moving further on F part. F is 15 upon 75. 15. If you divide 15 upon 75, recall first of all check on the table of 15. Does 75 comes in 15 table? Yes. At how many times comes 15 table at 15 5 just 75 so 5, 75 is also divided by 15 and 15 is also divided by 15 so we can 
ओके सो फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय फिफ्टीन डिवाइड बाय फिफ्टीन सो इट विल बिकम वन अपॉन फाइव वेरी सिंपल नाउ मोट ऑन एच जी पार्ट ओके दैट्स इज द जी पार्ट जी पार्ट इज ट्वेल्व अपॉन ट्वेंटी सो सॉरी ट्वेल्व अपॉन सिक्सटी लेट सी दस सिक्सटी कम्स इन ट्वेल्व टेबल यस ऑब्वियसली कम एट हाउ मेन टाइम एट एट वॉट वैल्यू दस सिक्सटी कम ऑन ट्वेल्व टेबल ट्वेल्व फाइव जो सिक्सटी एंड ट्वेल्व ऑल्सो कम इन ट्वेल्व टेबल ऑब्वियसली सो वी विल डिवाइड बाई ट्वेल्व ऑन बोर्ड साइड न्यूमरेटर एज वेल डिनोमिनेटर ट्वेल्व सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई ट्वेल्व एंड इन दिनोमिनेटर ट्वेल्व सो वी विल गेट वन अपॉन फाइव ओके नाउ मूविंग फर्दर ऑन एच पार्ट एच इज सिक्सटीन अपॉन नाइन्टी सिक्स अगेन मैच डज नाइन्टी सिक्स कम इन द टेबल ऑफ सिक्सटीन येस एट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स एट एट सिक्स टाइम्स वन मिनट सिक्सटीन वी गेट नाइन्टी सिक्स एंड सिक्सटीन अल्सो कम इन सिक्सटीन टेबल सो वी कैन सिंपली डिवाइड सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन ओके सो वी विल गेट वन अपॉन सिक्स वेरी सिंपल ना मोडिंग टूअर्ड्स आई पार्ट आई इज ट्वेल्व अपॉन सेवेंटी टू इफ यू रिकॉल अबाउट ट्वेल्व अपॉन सेवेंटी टू द सेवेंटी टू कम्स इन द ट्वेल्व टेबल जैस ऑबियसली एट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स द सेवेंटी टू कम्स एट ट्वेल्व टेबल गैस Um, so let's see. Twelve hundred two divided by twelve upon twelve. Okay. So we know that twelve comes at twelve at one time. Okay. We know that, and uh, if you know about seventy two, so seventy two comes at twelve. Six times, okay. So we can write one upon six. Simple, very easy question. Now move to J part. Okay. J part is three upon eighteen. Does eighteen come in three table? Yes. Does three come in three table? Yes. At how many times eighteen come in three table? At six times, so we can easily write this. We can divide three upon eighteen with three on numerator as well as denominator again, and we will get one upon six. Okay. Now moving further on K part. Uh, sorry, four upon twenty-five. And uh, can you know? Can you divide four upon twenty-five? Is it possible to divide four upon twenty-five? No. So it is already in simplest form. Okay, we can't divide it anymore. So it is the final, and it is the most simplest form. We for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today